Imagine a world where a damaged heart can heal itself, where debilitating diseases are a distant memory, and even missing organs can be grown from scratch. Sound like science fiction? What if I told you the key to this future might already be inside you, in something called stem cells? What are stem cells? So, what exactly are stem cells? Think of them as the body's master cells, with an incredible superpower. They can transform into almost any other cell type, from brain cells to muscle cells to blood cells. And not only that, they can also endlessly self-renew, creating more of themselves. It's like having a universal building block for your entire body. Gene Editing and Autoimmune Diseases Now, let's talk about how these amazing cells are already revolutionizing medicine. Gene Editing and Hereditary Disorders Imagine combining the power of stem cells with cutting-edge gene editing tools like CRISPR-Cas9. This incredible duo could allow us to literally fix genetic flaws that cause hereditary diseases. We are talking about correcting the very root cause of conditions, potentially even preventing them from being passed down to future generations. But it doesn't stop there. Stem cells are showing immense promise for autoimmune diseases and even immune deficiencies like those seen in AIDS. They can act like a reset button for your immune system, helping to regulate it and encourage tissue regeneration. This opens up doors for treating conditions like type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and multiple sclerosis, giving hope to millions. Regenerative Medicine and Personalized Medicine Next, we have the incredible field of regenerative medicine. This is where stem cells truly shine, by repairing or replacing damaged tissues and organs. Think about it, instead of relying on limited organ donations, we could potentially grow new, healthy tissues to treat heart disease, Parkinson's, and even spinal cord injuries. The implications are mind-boggling. And then there's personalized medicine, which is where things get truly tailored. Thanks to a breakthrough called Induced Pluripotent Stem Cells, IPSCS, scientists can now take a regular cell from your body, say, a skin cell and reprogram it to become a stem cell. This means we can create an unlimited source of cells that are genetically identical to you. No more worrying about immune rejection. This allows for treatments that are custom-made for each individual patient. Tissue engineering and artificial organs. The future also holds fascinating possibilities with tissue engineering. Scientists are now growing organoids, miniature, simplified versions of organs from stem cells. These tiny organs are amazing for drug testing, understanding diseases, and refining personalized medicine. It's like having a human guinea pig, but without the ethical concerns. And this leads us to the ultimate sci-fi dream that's becoming a reality artificial organs and body parts. In the not-so-distant future, we could see fully functional artificial organs grown from stem cells. Imagine alleviating the critical shortage of organs for transplants or providing customized solutions for patients who have lost limbs or organs. The possibilities are truly boundless. Ethical and Moral Concerns While the scientific potential is breathtaking, we also need to address the very real ethical and moral concerns surrounding stem cell research. One of the biggest debates revolves around the source of stem cells, particularly embryonic stem cells, ES cells. 
For some, the distinction between an early embryo and specialized body tissue is crucial. If ES cells are seen as part of an embryo, then their use can raise significant moral objections, especially for those who believe in the protection of embryonic life. Currently, there are three main sources, adult stem cells from donors, which are generally less controversial. Then there are ES cells from pre-implantation embryos, often from IVF clinics. And finally, embryonic germ cells, for example cells, which can be isolated from aborted fetuses. The use of ES or EG cells from elective abortions is a significant point of contention for many, leading to concerns about complicity in what they perceive as wrongdoing, particularly in certain religious contexts. It's a complex dilemma with no easy answers. Safety considerations Beyond the ethical debates, there are also crucial safety considerations that researchers are working tirelessly to address. Because stem cells have this incredible ability to renew themselves and become different cell types, there's a risk they could potentially become cancer cells and form tumors. Researchers are constantly refining techniques to minimize this risk. Also, when stem cells are grown in a lab or reprogrammed, there's a chance of genetic damage occurring. And for embryonic stem cells specifically, there's always the unknown they might not function as expected in a person's body, or even worse, the body's immune system might attack them as an unknown threat. T.S. important to remember that currently, the only FDA-approved stem cell treatments are for blood-forming cells from umbilical cord blood or bone marrow, used for certain blood disorders. All other stem cell therapies are still considered experimental and should be approached with caution.